continue off and on until the military release, release the result of the June 12 election and put the democratically elected president, who is myself, in charge of affairs. I won't go to war. I won't encourage my supporters to go to war. I will fight for peace. And we will get peace. But you see, we do not want the peace of a graveyard. A peace whereby somebody continues to ride on the rest of us with a gun. We will get peace, but we get peace with decency and integrity and honesty and probity and democracy. Abiola was eventually arrested from his home in Lagos by men from the secret police in June 1994. During his arrest, he made this call to the BBC. Uh, what is happening at your house? Are you being arrested? I'm being arrested. I'm just going out now with the police. Why are they arresting you? They are arresting me uh, on an allegation of felony, namely treason or something like that. They are not doing anything, they are just taking me away. Please let me go. You know, I'm delaying them. And so where are you now? Are you in your car? I'm in my car now. Is it police who are with you in your car or are they escorted? Are they yes, the, the commissioner of police is in the car with me and my senior wife is in the car with me. Why are they letting you talk on the phone to the BBC while they're in the middle of arresting you? <laughs> they have come to arrest me, not to arrest my mouth. You sound very cheerful about it, Chief Abiola. Of course. You know... <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of democracy here. Yeah. And you're happy to go to the police and await whatever charges uh, they're going to file against you? I'm not in any way, in any way, distraught by it. Any sacrifice is in order. If it will bring democracy, peace and prosperity to Nigeria. Is it possible to talk to the commissioner of police who's with you in the car? I don't know if the commissioner of police is, of, is, is authorized to talk. He cannot talk to the press. What is your advice now to your supporters, many of whom we heard a moment ago? Well, I told them before I left home to just stay calm. It is very, very important that they stay calm. So you're appealing for calm. You don't want them to take any direct action in your support? No, 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 no. You still say you're the president of Nigeria, but it's not much good if you're going to be in jail. Well, Mandela was in jail for 27 years. Kayaka was in jail. I suppose that is one of the qualifications you need in this part of the world. Don't worry yourself, my friend. That turned out to be his last interview. Abiola would die four years later, still in detention.